you've just got a new job, right? And you have set out with this great, grandiose plan in life, and you want to rock the world, have impact. You know, and your boss comes around and says, hey, you know, uh, I think you should do this and that for me, and just, you know, this is not along the line of what you wanted, but you come home, you talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend, you say, and she says, well, you need a job, you know, and, and it's actually not that bad. The company overall is pretty cool, you know. Hey, I would do it. I mean, he seems to be a good guy. Yeah, you should do it, you know. Right, okay, right. So another term comes around, you know, you didn't get that particular promotion that you always wanted to, you know. And he says, well, you're on the top of my list. I'm fighting for you every time, but the quota, you know, and this year, next year, we'll, you know, okay, yeah, sure, you know. And, and five years later, you're still at the same place doing the same crap, and you wonder, how did I get there? And I'm half boiled, right? How, and I'm half boiled, and that is super critical. And, and, and criticality there is that h how many times in my life have I heard when I talk to people very far down the road, well, you know what, Klaus, you had the luxury to be able to leave the job because you had the freedom. If you knew how my life worked, you know, you would know that I did not have any financial freedom. Zero when I started. Zero. My parents were immigrants from East Germany, you know, and, and a lot of crap happened. So zero, right? But I think one thing I learned partially through, through East Germany is that freedom is a state of mind. The state of mind, and the moment you give that up, you give up a lot. You basically give up the pleasure of looking yourself in the face in the mirror and saying, that's me. And whether I'm going to be hit by lightning strike when I walk out of this room, oh my god, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> or something else. I still know that I've done what I wanted to do. Right? So that's why I'm telling you the boiled, the boiled frog story. The second story that I want to share with you on the values is something that happened to me recently. And, and, and this, the story happened to me recently, but it's a phenomenon that I couldn't have expressed that well before. We have, uh, my, my office now is in New York on Park Avenue. That's where our headquarters is. It's a small headquarter, only 80 people, and the rest is basically dispersed all around the world. So, so uh, in the evening, um, I'm sometimes there pretty late. When I'm, when I'm there, I'm there pretty late. The rest of the time I'm traveling, you know. And when I'm there late, obviously at around 6, 6.30, the cleaning uh, team comes in, right? And this is a, th this is a team, this is a team of, of, uh, of people from Albania and, and Croatia, right? So, and, and, you know, I'm hanging around, and they didn't know who I was, you know, so I'm hanging around, they wonder, what is this new dude about, you know, so, and, and I keep talking to them, I say, hey, where are you from, what are you doing here, you know, and just talk the normal way when I'm going to the restroom or when I'm walking, walking through there, right? Okay, obviously over time they noticed who I was, right, and, and I think they were wondering, why is he like this, why is he talking to us, and one evening, one of them, I had a good conversation in the restroom that he was just cleaning. So imagine the setting, you know. So, 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 and, 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 and the person says, you know what, I've heard, this is very, very kind of you. I mean, that you're talking so openly and we have a good dialogue, you know, I always enjoy it. You know, when you're poor, people look through you. I thought that was amazing, an amazing, an amazing discovery. I'm, and that's so true. People look through you. They don't see you, even though you are there. And why am I telling you this story? There's, on the value side, there's nothing, absolute nothing, that justifies for you not to show respect to any individual on this planet, no matter where the person is. And if you give that principle up, I believe you will really not win in life. Your life might look to somebody who writes about it as greatly fulfilled, but in the end, I believe that's not the measure that you should apply to yourself. Thank you.